Hey YouTube, what's happening? It's time to play some five minute chess. Uh, we got three more games in the month of April. And it's been up and down. Honestly, we've only lost two games in April. So not so bad, right? Let's see if we can make the whole month with just two losses. That'll be a hard streak. That'll be a hard record to beat. Although there is one less day in, in April. But let us see if we can do it. I mean, our rating's still pretty, I don't know. It's not like where it used to be despite having pretty good results. So it's a, that's a bit sad right there. But again, a lot of that comes from a decent number of lower rated opponents coming our way. Uh, the only two losses we've had, at least they were to Grandmasters, and at least they were both they were both like tough games. I mean, I didn't get crushed in either one. In fact, I should have, I shouldn't have lost either game. Uh, all right, so we're playing a lower rated guy. 2095 from Germany. So our chances to win should be pretty decent. Well, this is like the first Shveshnikov we've had in a long time. I think in the entire series, this is the absolute first Shveshnikov. So this opening is not as popular as it used to be. Um, why am I confused? C4 is the move. Okay. <laughs> I feel like awkward for some reason. But this is all the main stuff. So I'm just getting, I'm just getting a little confused. I kind of like this position for white. It's nice and cozy. It's fine for black too, though. Gotta be honest. Um, I think I just go b3. I can't remember. Yeah, b3, queen d3, rook d1. I actually, I think I was supposed to go queen d3 first. I got a little confused. I don't think it matters too much. What you gonna do? And next move, rook f to d1, if I'm not mistaken. And then at some point I go like h3, bishop f3, and just kind of sit on the position. <laughs> it's not the most exciting concept ever. Uh, rook f to d1 looks normal. I think because maybe someday I want to go a3, so I think I want to keep that other rook there. Um, bishop f3 looks normal. There's a move that they can play that's bad. I'm trying to figure out, has he played it or not? No, I think... I forget, there's like a trick that I know in this line, and I can't remember how it comes about. I think it involves a rook on b8 and a queen on d7. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I, I think that those dreams are over, though. I think we're just going to have a regular chess position now. And I'm probably going to go like... I, I don't know, maybe a3 someday. Oh, another idea that's common is knight on 5 to e3 with the idea of queen takes d6. So that's a typical plan. I may do that next. And the idea is if after we go, okay, that's the strain. Okay, if I knight takes him, he goes with bishop takes. Hmm. Let us think. Something feels bad about his position, though. Um, I mean, I can... Knight e7, bishop e7, pawn takes pawn, bishop takes pawn. Queen d5, king moves. I don't... Oh, I can take on a8. All right, then. <laughs> uh, that's good news. Oh, wait, he has my stupid knight on oh, eight. Let me think. Take on f5, bishop f5, queen d5, king g7, queen a8. Let's say queen a8, bishop a8, bishop c2. Well, I'm at least... I can always move my bishop away if I want. Probably rook d2 is, is winning. Alright, well now I'm going to just take the, the exchange. And try my best to win this. Probably try to control the d5 square. So yeah, he just kind of made a small tactical mistake there, and I won the exchange. And this should make it tough for him. I mean, again, he has two bishops. That looks like a horrible move. <laughs> all right. That was just horrible. He's just blundered all his pieces. Rookie f6 just lost the game. Yeah. Um, he had to, I mean...
he, he just blunt. I mean, knight, knight e7 is just a bad move. I mean, maybe like rook c8, just kind of stay tight, defend everything, get the get the rook off the diagonal of this bishop, and the position is relatively okay for black. It's like a long maneuvering battle. Like, because the thing is, black doesn't have any clear plan. Anytime he takes, we take with the bishop and our, we have like the light square control. But when we take, he maybe like takes with the bishop or the pawn. It can be a little annoying. So it's kind of like a, just a waiting game somehow, I think. And, but like sometimes we'll go a3 and try to open the a file. I don't know. I think the position is relatively playable for white. But instead, he he just he just blundered an ex uh, material here. Like if queen takes, queen takes d6. And after bishop takes, we got this a8 rook. And we have queen d5. Queen a8. And if any time he goes bishop c2, we just go rook d2, and we do win the exchange. So, cool, everyone. Thanks for watching this YouTube video. All my live streamers watching. I'm going to play again, so don't go anywhere. Every time I end a YouTube video, they think I'm going to stop stop the stream. So I'm warning them this time. Uh, any Anyone who wants to watch these live streams, too, you can do it at twitch.tv slash Greg Shahadi. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.